Today I'm going to show you how you can add your own user interface around your software simulations. So I recently got someone on Twitter asking the following question. Is it possible to make a software simulation and resize the screen to fit inside a box? For example, on the left side, a software simulation, and on the right, some text in one slide. Um, I'm not sure of exactly your workflow, but here's what I had in mind. So I've designed this little interface here, and, and i be honest, I'm, I'm trying to target a certain size here. So what I did was I took a look at how much space I wanted for maybe a bar across the top, and then maybe some chapters or maybe some supplemental information down the left-hand side, and then maybe some navigation controls along the bottom. So I designed this, you know, trying to figure out a target size in mind. And I thought, well, you know, a thousand by 700 is approximately the size of a typical non-responsive design e-learning course, somewhere in that range anyway. Uh, I stuck with round numbers to make it easy. And then I thought, well, if I've got 50 pixels on the top and 50 pixels on the bottom, and then I have um, a couple hundred pixels on the side, um, you know, I should record my software simulation at 800 by 600. And, uh, and that's exactly what I've done. So I've, I've created a software simulation. Now, the first thing I'm going to do to get this to fit within that interface is uh, I'm probably going to want to move the starting mouse position. Uh, you know, if you're using it for demo, uh, for actual training or assessment, you won't have to worry about that. But I'm just going to move it over here so it stays roughly within the, the course here. And then I'm going to use the um, the modify drop down menu and select rescale project. And uh, you, this is going to be a two step process here. So the first thing I need to do, you've got to be careful with this. It's not something you can undo. You could always save your work first. I would recommend that you do that. Uh, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And the first thing we need to do, we know our target size is. 1000 by 700. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the height. I need 50 pixels above and 50 pixels below. So we're going to set this up at 700. I'm going to hit enter, but I'm not committing to anything yet. And you'll see if new size is larger, you'll see this uh, opens up and becomes active. We're going to keep the project the same size and reposition really. The, the objects here. So I'm going to keep this in the center. So we're making it taller first. That's going to be the first step. And I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And again, you'll get this warning about resizing. No problem. I'm going to hit OK. So now I have those 50 pixels above and 50 pixels below. And that should work out fine. You can choose a new spot for this if you wish. Uh, now I'm going to do it once more. I'm going to modify and rescale my project, but this time I'm going to choose a different width. In this case, we're going to shoot for that thousand pixels. Again, hit enter. I'm going to select keep project the same size and position the objects. But in this case, I'm actually going to very carefully choose center right because that, that extra 200 pixels, I want it all on the left hand side of my page. So I'm going to select that and then go ahead and hit finish. And again, I'll get the warning that you usually see when you do this. Click OK, and you'll see now I've got the space for that custom user interface. And you could, uh, the easiest way I think would be to simply select the elements. Uh, and this could be done on a slide by slide basis. Uh, or it could be done on your master slide. In this case here, I'm going to paste these on slide one. Keep those elements there. So now I have a nice looking user interface here. And with these objects selected, I'm going to go to my timing panel. And rather than just displaying for this specific time or for this slide, I can set this to be rest of project. 
and to ensure that these items are always on top, I can check uh, place the object on top there. And now as I go through my course, I'll always have this customized user interface around my e-learning. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.